balance being spread. It's like warm butter across the bread. Smooth, I know you like that. Flow with the grain and don't fight that. You want righteous love, you found the right match. With Marty McFly, they on the right track. Yeah, gotta dig the dirt to plant the seed. Spread roots till you sprout like a tree. Danny Jones, see the one you want to see. Danny Jones live, this is what you want to be. It's Danny Jones live, Danny Jones live. Hey, 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 I am Donnie the Tree Lady, and welcome to Donnie Jones Live, where I am Donnie the Tree Lady, and this I, is... I was wondering if you was going to throw it over here to me. Oh, yeah, my I, God. I'm, and I'm Marty McFly. I'm you changed up the whole... Intro, I but, switched it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, and I am that guy, Marty McFly, and hello, and welcome to... Uh, I guess another edition of Donnie Jones Live. Yes, another know. edition of Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones and Marty McFly, that yes. guy. But today we got something really special. We do. Oh, I mean, yeah. oh, oh my God, this is special. You just need to just, just hear her voice for that know. laugh. I think if they heard that laugh uh, and that voice, they I, already uh, know uh, who they got on the uh, show. Already. No, you know, a, a, a longtime friend is, is kind of like I felt like I've grown up with her because she's yeah. been in radio here in the Atlanta area for, for me, decades, for as long as I can really remember. But... Everyone, please show y'all love for Atlanta's own Miss Hello. Wanda oh, yeah. Smith. Yes, thank y'all. The incomparable, the incomparable, Smith. funny, oh, comedian. Just well, every, let's, let's just open the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, if I had a curtain, I would <laughs> open it. You know what I'm saying? So, Wanda, how has life been for you? What's been going on with you? Well, I have actually been enjoying life. I love um, it. You know, resting. Yes. Um, I got plenty of rest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's a blessing. Yes. Oh, yes. Um, got plenty of rest, and I feel great. Um, just been doing what God had me to do. Yeah. And that's moving all throughout the city, doing certain things. So mm -hmm. um, I've been hosting a lot of events. Yes. And, you know, doing things for certain mayors in certain counties and oh. um, doing parties and clubs and so I'm enjoying hopping around. I love it. I, I, I kind of feel like Mickey at Disney. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do what okay. you want to do. You know, it's <laughs> you know? funny. I try to do the same thing, but I get in trouble when I go yeah, well, and hop around. You be doing places. a little something different. Well, I just be laying hands on people. <laughs> it's, it's a church thing, you know? I hop over here and I hop over there. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. but that is, that is so cool. You know, I will say, yes. as a, a true Atlantean, yes. I miss your voice. And I miss oh, you yes. up there. You yes. know what? Well, thank you very much. Yeah. I miss talking to the people in yeah. Atlanta. Um, I moved to Atlanta in what 91 and mm -hmm. yeah, 91 yeah mm -hmm. and it was really a, a, a great transition from Miami to Atlanta yes. Right, yes because I come from a place where lots of Spanish and uh -huh. You know, Jamaicans. Yeah. And then I come to a city where black people just run and run things. You know exactly. What I mean? Exactly. So I'm enjoying, you know, my stay in Atlanta still. Yeah. But I am Miami uh Blood, but you oh, yeah. now you're not gonna let Atlanta, you're not gonna let Miami steal you from us now. Are you gonna you gonna you ain't going, you, you ain't going nowhere, right? Well, I'm gonna be honest. I really was thinking about um, buying a home there. Okay. Until the hurricane hit. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, 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 like, yeah. I can't do that. I'm uh -uh. good. See, that's uh -uh. you ain't gotta worry about the hurricanes uh -uh. in the ATL. Right. But you know what, Donnie, you can make some money down there if you had that a tree true. service down yeah. there. Because I was kind of slightly praying for you this past yeah. weekend, wow. yeah. like because I know the hurricane was yeah, coming through and yeah. see that's how I eat that's true yeah, when, it, when, when, when it's a hurricane and the trees fall oh, down and yeah. she gets to go out there and take care yeah, of those trees yeah. the I payment eat. comes on time right right right, right. But, <laughs> well, well you know you, you probably wouldn't get much work in Miami during yeah. the hurricane season because there are many coconut trees yeah. there and there are many palm trees there. Yeah. And you know, uh -huh. the palm tree is the strongest tree in the entire world. Exactly. Oh, yeah. In the entire world. It's in the yeah. Bible. I did not it's know that. The, the palm yeah. tree, it, th th they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and they will bend. Yes. Uh, and not break. Yes. And that's so powerful. I, but I'm glad you bring that up that because that kind of brings me to kind of what I wanted to talk with you about today. Absolutely. Um, it's been so beautiful since we, we and I, you and I have gotten a chance to connect, you know. <laughs> and what... You know, obviously, for those of you that are in the Atlanta market, you know our girls on the radio every day doing her thing. And yep. then 25 I'm, years. Yes, right. Wow. Did 25, you say 25? 25 okay, I'm years. old. I'm yeah. old. Yeah. Exactly. Now, now, let me take you back a little bit. 25 years, and, and then I can refresh some people's memory. I started out with Mike and Carol. Uh-huh. I was on with Mike oh, and Carol. Yes. 
And then from Mike and Carol yeah. was the Frank Ski Show. That's right. And then it became the Frank and Wanda Show. Yep. Right. Then it was Ryan and Wanda. Yep. Then Frank and Wanda again. Yeah. Uh, no, wasn't it a, but notice, was it, was it Wanda was always there. Wanda and Friends show? What, Wanda, what, what, at one period, was it Not Wanda and Friends? Friends? No, I had a Wanda well, Smith Wanda and, and Friends. Um, I had Wanda Smith and Friends uh, show yeah. okay. in Atlanta where I yeah. did... It was a comedy show slash play. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. What we would do at the Civic Center and the Fox Theater and the Rock uh, Coca Cola Roxy Theater. That's right. Oh, something so that we that need was to bring. Really successful. Right. Yeah. I never Check realized that. that um, yeah. You know, because I've, I've been here for years and listening to yes. radio. But you know, Mike and Carol. I didn't realize that you were with Mike yeah. and Carol way, oh, way. Well, good see, morning. you got to be older, like yeah. me. I'm a little older <laughs> uh -huh. than you. Oh yeah, you. you, you, you I'm I a was in my twenties when I okay. got here. Right. I was, well, well I was she remembers me one through ten on the air. You know what I'm saying? Oh wow, yeah. ancient. Yeah. Hey, yeah. hey ancient. grandma. No, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. But no, what what really I, what really inspired <laughs> me about you is mm -hmm. is where you're at. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And the mindset yes. you're bringing to things. And on this show, yes. we try to bring people guests that you know have tapped into something, some stuff, whether it's spiritual or some type of strength. Yeah. But when you brought up the palm tree, yes, I looked at how just recently, you mm -hmm. within the last few years, you did your own transition, yes. and to see you still flourishing and doing your own thing and bouncing yeah. all over the place doing yes. this, can you tell the people how you've been able to bend like that palm tree and not mm. break? Mm. Well, oh, that's that's oh, you made mm -hmm. well, took me to church. That's right. Like, like, come on now. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay, don't uh, get me the started. grace of God. The grace of God. Yeah. Um, I think my 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 walk in life was to help people. Yeah. Um, I know my purpose, and my yeah. purpose was to help people. So I moved to Atlanta in order to do that, to get people to work in the morning to jobs that they may not love. Come on. You know, mm -hmm. people listen to us in the morning. Um, so I think with that being said, God was like, Wanda, 25 years is the time of completion for you. And I kept oh. going and I kept going and I kept mm. going. And even my youngest son was like, Ma, you said when I graduated high school, you were going to stop. Mm. So mm. I was tired, to yeah. be honest with you. Oh, yeah. um, because just you can't imagine waking up for yeah. 25 years at 3 o'clock in the morning yeah. every day. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I tell people, and they say, how do you do it? I say, well, I wake up to go sit down and talk. Well, yeah. Sure. It's not that's like true. I'm going to cut trees down yeah, or anything. That's true. That's true. But, that's true. you know, my walk in life with radio was, was amazing. I got yeah. to meet so many people, mm -hmm. and God has blessed me to learn from others, yeah. um, mm -hmm. from, 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 from celebrities to you name it. I've mm -hmm. met so many people, and I think because of that, my walk in life is when I was able to, you know, sit down and rest. Yeah. I start to reflect back when I didn't have time to reflect mm. while I was mm. in the midst of. Yeah. yeah. So I had time to sit back and, re and, and reflect. And then was the mornings where I would cry because I'm waking up to go nowhere. Mm. Um, like, okay, you're not going to work today. Yeah. And I'm mm. like, okay, okay, God, really? So God has put me in a holding pattern, mm -hmm. meaning to be still. I'm talking to you because yeah. your next mm -hmm. your next walk in life is going to be so mm -hmm. different. That's right. So That's I right. get it. I get. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it before because mm -hmm. we think as people that we are constantly yes. doing this, doing that, doing. And that yeah. was my life. Mm -hmm. But I'm able to bend and move like the palm tree because I understand listening to God now. Yeah. I didn't before. Mm -hmm. So right. now when I listen, I can hear the voice say. Be still, know mm. that I am God. You know yes. that was actually one of the words. That was one of the uh, the scriptures or the mm. or the phrases that would always inspire me was yes. when I was in that space yes. where it's like it felt like nothing was working yes. and right. everything that I was trying to push towards it seemed like it was moving further yes. away. Yes. Mm -hmm. It was like I would hear God's voice say, "Be still, yes, and know yes. that I am God." Yes. But you can't know until you stop to reflect. That you is know correct. What I mean? That you is can't. correct. Being yeah. still is something hard for us to do as a people yeah mm -hmm. it goes back to Africa you yeah. know like even visiting Africa five times it's yeah. like those people don't stop yeah They're, those are some of the strongest people I've ever met in my yeah. life yeah they're constantly moving and and, and making things happen yeah. and I just think that we are that energy, that's right. you know, that's we're, right. we're Americans, but they're African Americans. That's right. Mm -hmm. But it's in our blood to right. move and and, and and have that drive. So that's right. I'm constantly moving, but at the same time, I'm learning to listen, mm -hmm. and I'm learning to be still. And it is the hardest mm -hmm. thing in the world 
for me to be still, but mm -hmm. I'm learning. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. You know, I, I always like to refer to the, the scripture of, you know, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not yes. want, but he maketh yes. me lie down. Mm -hmm. We forget about that sometimes. Yes, he right. makes us lie down and oh, understand yeah. that we serve a God that works in the in-between. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The place where you're at and the place where you're going is usually that in-between place where he's talking yes. to you at. That's right. Because right. that's, that's right. that transitional time where that's you're right. like, what am I going to do? No. This is, no. this is a, a new area for me. It's like, yeah, you right. may, I'm taking you to a place where you've never been before. Wow. So it is a little uncomfortable. It is. It is unsure, it's, but you know, I was able to mm -hmm. talk to comedian Mike Epps. Oh. My manager, love, Mike, um, Epps. love yeah. Mike Epps. He's so funny. My manager, um, Denise Howard, who runs mm -hmm. the Universal Circus, mm -hmm. she kind of do a lot of things for a lot of comedians. She managed Ricky Smiley. Oh. So a lot of us are a little in a little cluster where we uh -huh. do a lot of work with her. And we actually snuck up on Mike Epps in North Carolina a couple months ago, and he didn't know we were coming. Yeah. So he got to see myself, Denise, and Tina Graham. Tina Graham is a woman that was a part of Def Comedy Jam. Mm -hmm. She kind of mm -hmm. created, so when Mike Epps fell on hard times, and, and he was just like going out to LA to get started, Tina opened up her doors and allowed Mike Epps wow. to lay on her sofa. Yeah. And, and, oh wow. Being just Mike Epps, not yeah. the celebrity. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. So when we walked in the door, he teared up and he said, my God, greatness just walked in this door. He said, wow. three of the most wow. powerful women I've ever met in my life. He said, all three, and then he's tearing up, and you know, he's mm. a little thug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's tearing up and he goes, man, all three of y'all have helped me in my career yeah. at some point in my life. That's right. mm -hmm. So, you know, he was a bad boy and I used to tell him, he hate when I tell people this, but he used to smash and grab. And no. I remember, you know, talking to him about not doing that <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. when we were much younger at the comedy right. club. Yeah. He was like, stop telling people, Wanda, I'm past that. I'm like, yeah, but it's your past. It's your past. Right. You know right. But he right. was able to pour into me a little bit. Um, he said, you know, come here for a second. He pulled me over. He said, you know, do you do you think that it was time for you to be done with radio? Yeah. He said, do you think God, this is what he said, do you mm -hmm. think God wanted you to move out the way and be still because he had something else for yeah. you to do? Yeah. And I said, mm -hmm. you know, he said, I'm just telling you. He said, I've mm -hmm. been trying to cut the Richard Pryor documentary forever. Yeah. He said, and mm -hmm. God, every time we get lined up, we get the cameras in, we get everything squared away, something happens. Mm. He said, so sometimes God will kick you out of a place if you're not oh, listening yeah. to do yes. something else. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I'm listening to people. Yeah. I'm like, okay, you got a good point there, you know? Yeah. Well, God yeah. is kicking us out of this segment right now. We're going to take a quick <laughs> break. Take a break. Yes. We're going to take yes. a quick break. But you're listening to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie and that guy, Marty McFly, and the wonderful Ooh, Wanda Smith. I'm Wanda. Wanda. Yes. Yes. Hey guys. And we will be right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now when the weather starts to change, the rent to start to fall, who you gonna call? Don Tree Service. If it's looking kind of weak and it's looking kind of bleak, who a tree specialist call? Don Tree Service. If the trees in your yard are just too tall, who you gonna call? Street hey everybody, it's me, Wanda Smith, and I'm here with some great information. I don't know if you know, but it's hurricane season, and it's a great time for you to think about having trees removed before one fall on your home. That's something you don't want to happen. Listen, I called Don's Tree Service on a Monday. They were here in just a few days. The price was right, the staff was right, and I'm happy with everything they've done. So hey, if I were you, I would sit down with my family and talk about having trees removed before the hurricane comes and hit your home. If you want more information about your trees, call Don's Tree Service, 770-413-8733. That's 770-413-TREE. You know, one of the things that frustrates me to no end is when I call a company and as soon as it picks up, it says, please hold. And your approximate hold time is four to five to 10 minutes. It frustrates me because I need some help. But then I was wondering about when we get on our knees and pray, does the spiritual angel kind of picks up and says, I hear your prayer, but please hold for the operator. And it might take you four or five days or four or five months. But knowing that the operator will pick up and handle your problem. I think in those times, God is trying to tell us to just hold on for the blessing. Hi, I'm Pastor Marty Ringer, and I'd like to invite you to join us each and every Sunday morning at St. Mark Lutheran Church. 
Now, you might not be in the East Point or the Atlanta area, but you can always go online at stmarklutheranchurch.org and check out any of our services. I would love to just spread the good news of Christ to you. If you're here in the Atlanta area, our address is 4137 Washington Road in East Point, right down from the Atlanta airport. And if you're not around the ATL, you can always log on at stmarklutheranchurch.org. And there you can be a part of any of our worship services. But at the end of the day, I want to make sure that you understand this one message. God is trying to tell you to hold on until your blessing comes. And may God's grace and peace be with you. Hey, this is Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service. And as a small business owner, I get asked all the time, how did you do it? Now, for those of you that don't know, I basically started a tree service with $43 and a dream right here in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Now, during my journey, I've definitely been blessed to see the mountaintop, but I've also been in some rough valleys. And in my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I share my experience. My book really is a real woman's journey to building a happy, healthy, and successful life. But I gotta be honest with you, I read self-help books and I listened to audio programs about success and I was still having difficulty achieving success in my life until I really got a hold of certain principles that made a difference. In my book, From Failure to Fabulous, I get very real and raw about what I did to build my company, my family, and my life. So please go check out my book, From Failure to Fabulous, on Amazon, or you can go to my website, www.donniejoneslive.com. Welcome back to Donnie Jones Live, where I am Donnie. And I am Marty, uh, hanging out with Wanda. Hey, Wanda. Wanda, Wanda Smith. Not just you know, right, right, right. You know, she, she has one of those Smith. names. You can't just say the first name. It, it, it's I not know, just right? Wanda, Wanda, Wanda Smith. Smith. Exactly. You know, that's her full name. But, you know, on the last segment, we, you brought something up that I was kind of curious about. Yeah. Okay. That we see a lot of celebrities on TV, and you just know that they are... Balling in my mind, they ball in there, you know, the, the millionaires, everybody a millionaire. I'm if you're on right, TV, right, 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 right. you're you a millionaire. millionaire. You, what, right. Real quick story, uh -huh. to get into that, when we first started doing commercial TV commercials, mm -hmm. right, I went to a customer's house and they had seen us on the commercial and I gave the price and they were uh -huh. like, girl, you know you could do this for free. You big time. I was like, what the heck? What are you thinking? I was like, just you can afford, just do it for free. I was oh like, my God. got it. So, oh. yeah, but you were saying. She wasn't saying she I had was, just asked her a question. She asked her a question. See, you messed okay. up. You messed up. Last segment, you got a gold star. You didn't mess up. Uh, so anyway, you but the question is, how star. often how often do you come around people in the industry that you, that I guess the, the layman people that are watching yeah. may just assume that they have, you know, everything laid out. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. they have the, the, the money, they have the big house, but you realize, no, oh, a lot of us are struggling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, how mm -hmm. often... In your career, have you come across individuals like that? I guess I'd be open to you right, to let right. you know. Um, really, honestly, if you think about it, everybody's balling right now. When you look at social media, yeah. it's <laughs> people put on a, this persona yeah. like they living in this huge house. Most yeah. of the time they're rented. Yeah. A lot of times they don't have mm -hmm. exactly what they say they have because, yeah. you know, I mean, everybody can't afford a Bentley. Everybody yeah. can't afford, no. you know, a Rolls Royce or, mm -hmm. you know, a Jaguar or yeah. what have you. But, I mean, I think it's just the theater of the mind yeah. where some people just want to put it out there like yeah. they have it going on like mm -hmm. that. Um, I've never been that person to floss. Yeah. I've never been a person mm -hmm. that I had to have the latest purse. Right. I've never been the person that, you know, throughout my career, I had to shine yeah. or make someone feel that I'm doing more than what I'm doing. Yeah. I've always been, in my mind, just, you know, just yeah. a regular person. Because honestly, money only, only um, determines who you really are. Yeah. If you're a broke mm. person, and you're an idiot, you're gonna be a bigger idiot if you get rid of That is yeah. so true. You yeah. know, you and know, money it, ain't gonna it, last as long. It, it, mm -hmm. Yes, it only enhances who you are. Yeah. So, I mean, I just think that some people, I, I don't, honestly, as far as calling names, mm, I don't, I don't really, I can't really think of someone that I've actually seen them. It's like, well, you were just bawling yesterday. Right, 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 right. You know, right, right. You know, but you're classy I, I, enough yeah. to where you ain't gonna be calling nobody. Because, <laughs> and then at yeah, the same I mean, time, know. I think, I think, Brokeness or money is depending on the individual That's itself. True. Because right, right, you know, if right, I get a hundred dollars, I'm like, I'm happy, I'm a <laughs> right, you know. Right, right, and then right, you find right. somebody else that says, yeah. That's it. 
you know. Yeah. Right. So I think there's different levels, but it is sometimes the persona yeah. that people are mm -hmm. making it, you know, yeah. so much yes. bigger than what it is, especially with social media. Oh, yeah. my God. Because I, 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 I've oh spoken to a lot of, of kids and youth that say that I want to be like this, yeah. you know, uh, yes. uh, Facebook or Instagram person. Right. Yeah, and I'm like, right. you know, that's a hot clip yeah. of their life. That's you're not correct. seeing the totality. You're not of their seeing life. the yes. totality, yes. or you're not seeing what's on the other side of the camera. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, because mm -hmm. you would think, mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm out here on the beach living at large, right. and you yeah. got four or five ghetto kids over there, Come like, mom, I'm hungry. Exactly. Yeah. You know, and it's but it's a different that's right. um, uh, right. persona. I was watching this uh, pastor guy, and I think I've seen him or whatever. Oh, the one that. Uh, he got robbed a couple of weeks yes. ago yeah, or yeah, whatever because of all yeah. well, You know, last week he choked somebody out, a lady. Yeah. You oh know, but it was funny because his his church looked nice at first until they pulled the camera and they and showed it's the whole. Scraggly. And it's yeah. like, wait a minute, that's like a little See? bitty basement yeah. room. Yeah. That's that crazy. I knew that that was the case. Wow. I, I was like, something doesn't seem quite right but here. But to look yeah. at his makeup, you would think oh, he's yeah. very wealthy. Now. Yeah. And I, well, I, I just, you know, the, the whole thing where they say fake it till you make it. Yeah. I just. I just have never been that person. But I and I also always was, ask go God to, you know, like even the money that we made in radio, we mm -hmm. made a lot of money in radio. Oh, yeah. But I've always been taught by my mom, yeah. Wanda, save your money. Yeah. Because yeah. you never know what you can never happen. My mom was so that. big, she wasn't big on talking about love and yeah. affection and marriage uh -huh. and relationships. But when it came down to finances, she, she care was of something her. else. Yes. Like, I mean, that was her thing. She's 86 years old. She's never asked us for one quarter, one wow. dollar, wow. one penny to pay a bill, to put tires on a car, mm. to do nothing. So I'm, that she instilled in my yeah. sister and I yeah. to mm -hmm. be able to put away money, to save money. So when B103 did say goodbye, yeah. I thank mm -hmm. the good Lord that oh, I didn't yeah. have to go say, hey, you know what? Can I mm -hmm. can I borrow this? Or mm. Can I borrow uh -huh. that? You know, I just bought a, a house and uh -huh. I end up calling Don. Well, I called this. Let me be honest. Uh -huh. I called this other tree company first, right? So the guy was like, "Oh, it's it's a thousand dollars to cut that tree down." I'm like, "One tree? One tree? Yeah. Well, uh, you like this? You, know, <laughs> you like these? Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> Trust me, I've had to do that several and years. So, you know, even you know, with but I was able you to should. cut down seven trees. You know, just uh -huh. because. And then, and then I ended up meeting Donnie, and our prices were, you know, right along the same. So I had no idea yeah. on what how expensive it was to cut mm -hmm. a tree down. Or, but yeah. I know the importance of yeah. getting it done. So yeah. it didn't matter to me. So I'm able to go to the bank and pull that money out and do the things that need to be mm -hmm. done right. without being employed right now. You know what yeah. I mean? So some people are not able to do those mm -hmm. things. They have to hold on to that last mm -hmm. little 150000 they have mm -hmm. or $100 that they have. Yeah. So, you know, I just wish that they saved more. Stop buying all these flashy cars. It's not worth it. Yeah. Right. Put your money in an account. Do you have a 401k? Come on now. They've right. changed so many kind of things savings. now. Yeah. You, you know. So I, mm. I wonder and I pray, like for instance, I hate to bring this up, but we're looking at the situation with Tiffany Haddish. Yes. And just yes. the place, and there's a recent yeah. video just came out where she say, hey, I've lost everything. Right. I've lost yeah. everything. Uh, you know, based Oliver. on this case mm -hmm. that just happened to me yeah. with this molestation thing. Yeah. And she said, I don't have anything. So I'm thinking to myself, that's a job that to go is. and talk to celebrities or people that have yeah. had money mm -hmm. and we can go and talk to them about finances. You know what I mean? You, you know, know what? Are... You bring up a good, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. I was going to say, you bring up a good point is that when they become a star like that, yes. where is the, the mm. knowledge or the know-how mm. to be able to manage mm. millions mm. of dollars? Because you see it keep happening over mm. and over and you over. You know who's really good at that? The who's NFL. That? Mm. The NFL, I remember um, the NFL, we talked with a couple of people that worked for the NFL, yeah. you know, during my radio days. And they came in and we asked that question. That's a yeah. great question. Yeah. They say that's one of the first things they talk about is finances and wow. women. Because mm -hmm. those are the two things. You sure things they that, talk about women? Because well, I don't know about Well, that. well, 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 I'm going to tell you what he told us. He said, what we do is we bring all the potential players into a room once yeah. they've made it. Yeah. Right. And we bring them into a room and we bring in some of the most beautiful women. We, he said we go to Vegas, we bring in some of the most beautiful women from all over the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when they walk into the room, the ball, a potential ball players like, oh, damn, you know, like, oh my God, yeah. mm -hmm. black women, white women, Asian women, just all type Whatever, of women, but yeah. they're gorgeous. Mm -hmm. He's saying, and every last one of them have HIV. So wow. they explain the women have to talk to the team and say, hey, don't use your money on me because 
I can come into your room or your dorm or whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. and we can have sex, and now you have a disease, a That's deadly right. disease, wow. and you're only looking at my my my, my body, mm -hmm. yeah. my face, and I'm beautiful, but you're about to be broke yeah. and yeah. sick. Yeah. So, you know, that's something to think about, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, I don't think that there are people, like nobody came to uh, to, to the Frank and Wanda Morning Show, hey, let me talk to you, y'all about right. to make, you know, well over six figures, so mm -hmm. let me talk to y'all about yeah. the nobody, mm -hmm. nobody's But you, you know, learned from your mom. Right. My that's mom. what I was gonna say, is yeah. one of the yes. things that I think in, in, in these generations now, Yes. You had a mentor that taught yeah. you money, yes, and that's one of the things that we, and it, I'm not, not going to say just in the black community, yeah. we teach people sometimes how to make money, that's but right. not how to save how to money, it. or that's the business correct. of right. money, how to make the that's money right. make money for yes. itself. Or how money works. Right, how you know? money works. Mm -hmm. exactly. um, but it's another thing that you said that I want to almost um, challenge mm -hmm. the mindset, because you yeah. said, mm -hmm. I am now unemployed. Yes. yes, and you're not. And you're you think not because about well, well, I mean, what I meant doing. by the radio station, not, oh, not yes, yeah, yeah, just, because, just, I'm just saying that right. because that's what people know me from. Right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because I think of Tiffany Haddish, and I think me and you had a conversation we about did. this too. Yeah, she said I don't have any more gigs lined up. I don't have anything yeah, like this, yeah, but. Yeah. The potential of the person right. can always yes. continue right. to generate money. But you know, do you know why she said that? Because, because it came easy to her. Hmm. She said that because the movies were coming easy. Yeah. You know, somebody would walk up to her yeah. and say, hey, you want a job? Hey, you yeah. want to do commercials? Hey, mm -hmm. you want an endorsement? Right. But because yeah. you have this thing now that has corrupted your career in a sense, as yeah. far as it, the internet is concerned, mm -hmm. her self-esteem is like, damn, I messed yeah. up. You know what I mean? Question. So, what would you say to Tiffany? If you had Tiffany standing right here in front of you, what would you say to Tiffany, especially being a veteran in the industry? Um, Even I'm going to be honest with different. you. A lot of them don't listen. A yeah. lot of them, you can't tell anything yeah. because True. they think they know everything. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so, you know, it's kind of hard to approach someone that think they know everything. But yeah. I think now, again, maybe she'll listen that yeah. because now it's a humbling experience. Yes. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to see that happen to yeah. her. Right. You know what I mean? Because she's funny. But what I would say to her is, sister, now you understand that people will love you for a season. That's right. People will yeah. love you as long as you got something to offer them. Yeah. People oh, yeah. will love you as long as you can make them laugh and yeah. you're bringing something to the table. But the mm -hmm. minute something goes wrong, everybody turned their back. Mm. And well, now you have to realize that God is still there for you. Oh, so yeah. you have to be strong and That's know right. that, you know what, it's not over. Mm. It's not, you know what, I, I would tell anyone that it's not over and you're going to have trials and tribulations yes, in your yes. career and everything. Yes, right. yes. And I will look at like Kevin Hart when he had that big situation yes. about, you know, what he what said he about said the, it, right. right, but he was in a sense headstrong of like, you know what, yeah. I did it, but I'm not going to stop my career. That's I'm right. going to keep yeah. pushing, he kept keep pushing. pushing. Yeah. And now it's kind of like, I forgot yeah. about that. But the you other know? thing with yeah. him is that he That's went correct. through some money situations, yeah. but he's also good with money, too. Yeah. Right. He actually, yeah. I think, partnered with Chase to do some time. Mm -hmm. And correct me if I'm wrong, but he partnered with one of the banks okay. to start teaching uh, money principles on the inner city. Correct oh. me if I'm wrong, but we got to go to a break. Oh, man. You know, okay. There is something I want to get into when we yes. come back. Right. But we're going to take a quick break. I'm Donnie the Tree Lady. I am that guy, Marty McFly, with the fabulous Wanda, Wanda Smith. <laughs> we'll be right back. Johnny Jones Live, Johnny Jones Live. Johnny Jones Live, Johnny Jones Live. Johnny Jones Live, Johnny Jones Live.